Fender. Number 23, Abby Stone. Number 24, Julissa Delgado. And number 25, Taliana Vindri. Avery Point is coached by Coach George Hardison. And now, for your Bristol Community College, Jayhawks. At forward affection, the Wolf Colony High School, number 24, Abby Shapa. At guard and sophomore from Grady Beverly Boat, number two, Sarah Seguin. At forward affection from Grady Beverly Boat, number 23, Abby Early. At guard and affection from Grady High School, number three, Atia Rivera. And at guard and sophomore from Jersey High School, number 11, KJ Katera James. The Bayhawks are coached by Jenny Hanley and assisted by Katia Manser. All right, the pregame player introductions are set. How are you doing, everybody? I'm David Cardozo. Welcome to Thursday Night Bayhawks Basketball, live from the France Gymnasium in uh, good old Fall River, Massachusetts. We're getting set to tip off here. It's the Bristol Community College Bayhawks in their gray and white uniforms going against the University of Connecticut at Avery Point, the Pointers, in their navy blue and white. We want to welcome in our Facebook audience following us on our Bristol Community College page. There's a three-pointer off the top. Rebounded by Tia Rivera. Oh, Rivera with a nice crossover move. Gets it to Katera James at the wing. Misses a three. Abby Hurley can't hold on to it. Seguin with a nice pass to Hurley. Nice little dish underneath. And Hurley scores it. Bristol on the board. First. Driving to the hole is number 21. Ball got knocked away. And now loose ball is picked up by Abby Chopper. Chopper gets it out of trouble up to Katera James. Chopper gets it stolen away. Stolen away by number 24 with the easy lay-in. Julissa Delgado. And it's 2-2. Pass underneath. Hurley with the, with the huge height advantage there. Came up short. Cross-court pass. Kick it out for three. Three-pointer. No good. And now rebounded by UCAP. Little crossover. Kicking it out. Three-pointer. Missed. Rebounded by Hurley. James looking to push. Rivera in the corner. To a cutting chopper. Oh, second. Had a little 15-footer. Misses it. Corner three, no good. Rebounded by KJ. KJ doesn't have the numbers, but she's looking to push. Goes up. And that ball's altered. Going back the other way, Delgado. And Rivera with a, with a nice hustle play to come back over there and prevents an easy layup. That's a foul, but she prevents an easy two. They have a substitution on the court. Amaya Marshall will come in for Sarah Seguin. Just getting underway. 2-2 early. Underneath to Delgado. I'm sorry, Rebecca Sanders underneath for the easy score. Rivera going helter-skelter. She's going to get fouled, and they're going to call a travel. Yeah, sometimes a tier of ever does. Rivera, she, Rivera, easy for me to say. Atia Rivera does that. Sometimes out of control. Three-pointer is good in the corner. By number four, Ashley Burke. 6-2. They get it inside to Abby Hurley, and she's going to travel. She just started walking towards the basket. Bristol playing their second home game in a row. Losing to Bunker Hill this past Tuesday in a frustrating contest for sure. Good ball movement by the pointers. 
17 on the shot clock. Stone kicks it over to the corner. Driving to the basket. Kicked back out to Stone. Burke for the three. No good. There's a three. And Katera James gets the rebound. Rebound that was a problem Tuesday night against Bunker Hill. Driving to the basket. And trying to go over. I don't know why Katera James is trying to go over. Rebecca Sanders, who's standing there like a tree. They're swinging into the corner. The three, no good. Rebounded by Abby Hurley. Abby Hurley had a big game on Tuesday. That ball stolen away. Stolen away by Stone. Abby Stone, nice bounce pass. And I believe they're going to call a foul on Amaya Marshall. That's a good foul, though. You don't want an easy basket right there. And Ashley Burke will step to the line. Our live stream brought to you by all of our friends here at FR Media. Your Bayhawks Broadcasting Network, Ashley Burke, sinks the first one. Second free throw is good. Eight to two here in the early going. And Tia Rivera, point guard for this team. Was getting doubled out there. Good defense right now by Connecticut. Stolen away. Another steal. Turnover. Burke going to the basket. Lays it in. UConn with a few turnovers and a few fast break. For three. Can't get it to fall. Good rebound there by Ania Coat. That ball's going to go into the back backcourt, and it's going to be a backcourt violation. And another turnover by Bristol. It'll be UCAP basketball. Stone to inbound. They lob it into the post. Oh. Nice little post move there by Sanders. Going up and over Hurley, and she get, draws the foul. Strong move there. I'm not sure how she get it up and over Abby. Free throw is missed. Rebounded by Marshall. Rivera looking to push. Bayhawks is playing sloppy basketball as of late. Three-pointer is good. Boy, they needed that. That will stop the bleeding. UCAP was on a 12-0 run. Swinging into the corner. Three-pointer by Burke. It's good. And I think they're only going to say it's two. Ashley Burke with a long two in the corner. Rivera kicks it to the corner. Katera James for three, and she drains it. Katera James with the response. And it's 14 to 8. They'll lob it in. That's the matchup right there. Stone, deep three. Can't get it to fall. Rebounded by Sanders. Sanders cross court to Burke. And they're going to call steps. I'm going to call a travel on Rebecca Sanders. And the ball will go back to Bristol. Bristol with a few turnovers here early, but only find themselves down by six. A couple three-pointers three by Katera James has kept a minute. Pointers right now in 2-3 zone. They kick it back out. Katera James is open, and she drains it. KJ getting hot. And it's 14-11. Good motion offense, good movement. Pointers move well without the basketball. There's a shot from the elbow. It's good by Rebecca Sanders. Pointers do a good job of moving the basketball and finding the open. Gell. I believe they're going to call it. I believe they're going to call a foul there on number 23, Abby Stone. 16-11. We're just in the first quarter if you're just joining us. Marshall 
High arcing three, no good. Ball on the floor. Rivera, James misses. Couple opportunities by Bristol. Now Katera James has it. Seven on the shot clock. Oh, Katera James going to the basket. And they're going to call a foul. Foul's going to be on number five. Nicole Cabasso, chopper for three, no good. Rebounded by Sanders. Out of the break is Ashley Burke. Oh, nice job by Rivera to alter that shot. James is looking way more assertive in this game. Marshall gets it inside the coat. Back to James. Fall away in the paint. Can't connect. Burke to Stone. And she's going to draw a foul. I believe that's going to be on Chopper. Foul's going to be on Abby Chopper. Abby Chopper with a good debut. And her first game was a Bayhawk this past Tuesday night, a couple nights ago, in a loss. And they're going to call a travel. That was up and down. 3-12 to go here in the first quarter. Bristol much in this one. UCAP playing man-to-man. -man. Chopper with a nice fake. The jumper. Can't get it to go. Marshall underneath gets her shot blocked by Sanders. And Burke will lose it out of bounds. Here's Rivera. Rivera goes around the back. James on the wing. Three-pointer is good. Her fourth three of the quarter. It's been all Katera James. Nice defense there. Marshall forced it out to Burke. She took away the baseline and gets her, forces her to step out of bounds. Good footwork. Good defense there by Amaya Marshall. Two and a half to play in the quarter. And they're going to say Katera James stepped out of bounds, stepped on the baseline. They'll lob it in, Sanders. Good job by Marshall playing some good defense. They're going to call her for a second foul, though. And Rebecca Sanders will go to the line for two. Sanders with that number 21. There was another Sanders who I believe wore 21. Prime time, baby. And that first free throw is no good. Bristol setting in, settling in and playing a little bit better defense towards the end of this quarter, not allowing anything cheap. Playing a little bit tougher defense, and Abby Hurley with just a casual handoff there gets it stolen. Luckily, luckily Bristol won't pay for it. And they're going to call. They're going to call a foul. They're going to call a push away from the basketball on Nicole Cabuse. Cabuseo. James looking to push. Chopper gets into the paint. The floater. It's good. Nice drive and a floater by Chopper. Stone gets it into the corner to Sanders. Jumper's no good. Rebounded by Stone. They'll swing it around the perimeter. In the corner, Burke nails it. Another long two. Another long two-pointer by Ashley Burke. 18-16. James looking to drive. Oh, gets it knocked away by Stone. Sanders up ahead to Burke for the easy lay-in. 
Bristol going to get back on defense, and almost a steal there by Burke on the inbound. Bristol going to be careful not to be uh, too cavalier or too careless with the basketball. And they're going to call a foul, I believe, on number 25, Kaliana Dingy. Four team fouls for the guests, the pointers. Five for your Bayhawks. Chopper to inbound. Chopper looks a little bit more comfortable than she did offensively in Tuesday night, Tuesday night's contest versus Bunker Hill. Inside Abby Hurley. And uh, it's going to be off the pointers. I believe it was off Rebecca Sanders. Under a minute to go. In the coat. To Rivera, kicks it back out. James releases, three-pointer, it's good! KJ for three. Five three-pointers in the quarter for KJ. Wow, she's on fire. That's the Katera James we know. Katera James, in the last game or two, has seen reluctant at, at times to shoot that shot. Or when she has shot, she's been inconsistent from the outside, from the three-point land. Floater by Rivera, no good. Abby Hurley with the offensive rebound attempt. Shot attempt, no good. Loose ball, Sanders will fall to the floor. And I believe they're going to call India Coat for a foul. I think she just fell on her own. Nonetheless, 15 points there off threes for Katera James. Bristol within one, 20 to 19. And Rebecca Sanders will go to the line. Pointers are in the bonus for the rest of the quarter. First free throw missed, second free throw is good. Rivera looking to push. Oh, nice around the back move and the kickback. Katera James for three. Oh, that one almost went down too. You can tell she's feeling it though. Going down the other end. No good. Rebounded by Coat. Rivera up to KJ. KJ looking to drive in the paint. And she'll go to the line for two. Katera James being way more aggressive. And they're going to need her to be. Bristol without one of their other leading scorers, as we know, Jada Fortin. They're going to need Katera James to step up. Katera James, one of the top offensive contributors for the Bayhawks. Averaging nearly 25 a game. She's averaging 24.8 a game. Shoots 82% from the free throw land. And it's 21 to 21. This game is tied. Three pointer by Burke. No good. Sanders with the rebound. Nice block there by Hurley. Three pointer by Carbasso. By Nicole Cabuseo. Three pointer is good. And the first quarter will come to a close. 24 to 21. The pointers led by as many as 10 points, but the, uh, the Bayhawks have stormed back to make it 24 to 21. We'll take a break here. We'll come back with second quarter action right after this.
All right, welcome back, everybody. Second quarter action. 24-21. Bayhawks trail by three. But it was a good first quarter for the Bayhawks. I like what I've seen defensively. I like what I've seen from Katera James attacking the basket and also um, getting open looks and nailing those open looks. And Atira Rivera is finding her shooters. She's finding Abby. She's finding Katera James. She's finding Abby Chopper out there. Driving to the basket. Marshall right there is, is Hurley. Hurley going up again. And they're going to call travel. And Abby Hurley's getting... She's getting offensive rebounds. She's getting looks underneath, but she's just not connecting. She's got to take her time and put the ball off the glass. Stone kicks it to the corner. Bristol Zone is doing a good job. They're doing good work. They're forcing the pointers to, cheat, to shoot deep into the shot clock. I like their rotations. Three-pointer in the corner is good. Ashley Burke. Shooters keep shooting, and that's what she's been doing. 27-21. Rivera lobs it in to Hurley. That's a nice, I thought that was a shot initially, but it looked like it was definitely a pass. Nice little floaty pass there by Rivera, and Hurley did a good job to, to catch it and put it off the glass calmly. Knocked away by James. James to the rack, lays it up and in. Within two, and the Bristol men's team in the stands, in attendance, rooting the women on. Stone thought about it. Three-pointer by Nicole, no good. And Bristol, India Coat, had the loose ball. She, must have, she lost it out of bounds. Second quarter. Remember the NJCAA, the women play four quarters. Men play two halves. Lob it in. Kick out by Sanders, and it goes into the backcourt. And it's going to be a backcourt viol violation. And it's going to be Bristol basketball. UConn. UConn, UConn at every point. Hurley, forcing her way down low. Gets it to James. James with the miss. Sanders with the rebound. Sanders with the handle. Stone driving into the paint. And they're going to call a blocking foul on Hurley. All right. Getting hot in here. <laughs> Made sure I wore appropriate layers today to strip down. <laughs> 8 one to go. All right. Thursday night Bayhawk basketball. Stay tuned for a doubleheader. Stone misses the free throw. The Bristol men will be in action against the against the uh, University of Connecticut at Avery Point men. Tip off at 8 o'clock following this game. Chopper. Chopper to James. Uh-oh. James going to the rack. Lays it up and in. Nice pass by Chopper. Touchdown. That was a beautifully executed play there. 29-27. Burke in the corner. And closing out, Abby Chopper, but she runs into Burke. I'm sorry, Julissa Delgado. Second, second um, foul on Abby Chopper. Three attempts coming up. Both, both free throws sunk there by Delgado. Fouled on the three-point attempt. Thought it was Burke, but she had the... Oh, she knocks down, 
knocks down all free throws. Julissa Delgado. Sarah Seglin will check in for Abby Chopper, who has two fouls. Jay Hanley gonna, gonna play it safe here. Every point in man-to-man -man defense. James crosses over, gets it to the lane. Floater up and no good. Rebounded by Sanders. Pointers always looking to push. Stone from the pass by Cariuso. And they score it. And there's going to be a timeout here on the floor. 34-27, seven-point lead. 7.26 to play. We're going to take a small break here, and we'll be right back after this on FRC Media. I always knew I wanted to go to college. I just didn't know how or when. Bristol gave me the flexibility to balance work, family life, and the things I love to do. I was able to transfer and get a bachelor's degree in the field I am passionate about. Bristol helped me so I can help others. Working as a mentor and a coach, I know I'm making a difference. And I'm able to show my kids and others the value of a college education. It's never too late. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. Welcome back, everybody. 34-27. And one of the last days. Oh, that picked off. Pass picked off by Stone. Off the inbound. Sanders. And they're gonna call, they're gonna call a travel there. Bristol got away with one there. As they uh, got the inbound pass stolen. Bristol playing decent basketball. You don't want to let it get away with some careless mistakes right now. And UConn, at every point, putting the pressure on the Bristol women right now. Playing some tight man-to-man -man defense all over the court. Force a turnover. And Abby Hurley, gotta, she's got to know where her shooters are. You got to know where you're... You got to know who you're guarding. Rebecca Sanders with the with the easy put in off the inbound. Abby Hurley lost, lost track of her. And they're gonna call a foul. Let's see what's, let's see what's on. Looking to inbound India Coat. Oh, Coat, and see there's another, another kills mistake going back the other way as Abby Stone lays it up with the left hand. And just like that, it's an 11-point lead. That's a good matchup right there, Sagan and Delgado. Oh, nice pass there by Rivera and KJ with another three. She's putting on a clinic here today. Six threes for her. Burke in the corner, no good. Going to get the rebound. And there's going to be a loose ball foul. Looks like it's going to be on... That was a nifty pass on the other end. A tier of error driving to the basket. Knew where Kateri was, knew where Katera James was in the corner, just like a little around the back pass to James who knocked it down. James going to the hole, uses the glass over Sanders. Two more for James. She single-handedly has kept this team in it. Long three. By Stone, rebounded by Chopper in the corner. And Bristol looking to make a run. James going back. Hurley puts it up off the glass and in. Nice hands and a soft touch by Hurley and a pass by James. Shot there, missed by, by the pointers. Here comes Marshall. Amaya Marshall going right into the teeth of the defense and they're gonna call an offensive foul. Marshall, like a locomotive, darted into the paint, but way out of control. But just like that, Bristol within four, 546 to play in the quarter. Looked like this one might have been getting away from Bristol, but they fought their way back into it. Courtesy of Katera James. She's been dynamite so far in this first half. Stone gets it inside. Nicole Caresso 
Caraceo kicked it back out. Sanders couldn't connect. Here's Rivera. Rivera crossing over, kicks it back out. James for three, nails it! What is going on? Katerra James, seven threes in the first half, and it ain't over yet. And Stone stops the run, stops the bleeding with a free throw jumper. But Katerra James has been unbelievable in this first half from the outside. James, and they're gonna call They're going to call it on the defense. They're going to call it on UCAP. And I believe they're going to call it on who? Fouls on the floor, though. It's going to be on number four, Ashley Burke, her first. Chopper looking inbound. James thought about it. And she uh, will travel. Katera James got a quick first step. And... Just didn't put the ball to the floor. Both teams with three team fouls. Under five to go. Catching it at the elbow. Nice fake. And score the basket. Nice fake by Sanders. Catching the ball at the elbow. Put an up fake up on Hurley. Got a step on her and put it up and got the contact. And drained the shot. And Rebecca Sanders will go for... A three-point play the old-fashioned way. Misses the free throw. Chopper up to Rivera. Rivera lost control of it. Rivera puts it up. The floater no good. 42-37. Sanders off the rebound. Going to the rack. Nice little move there to go around Chopper. And puts the pointers up by seven. Nice screen there by Chopper. Rivera uses it nicely, puts it up, and she'll go to the line for two. Atia Rivera. Boy, she's had some nifty passes and some nifty dribble moves in this first quarter. With her quickness, I mean, she's, she's getting to the basket. She's driving to the basket, but she, they're leaving Katerra James on the perimeter open every single time. She attracts attention. Driving to the basket. And then once another defender goes to help her, I mean, she's finding she's finding her perimeter shooters, a.k.a. Katerra James. Second free throw is no good. And they'll have a tie up there. And let's see. It'll be pointers basketball. 44 to 38. This one very much a contest. Burke for three. No good. Coming off. Chopper with the rebound. Rivera. She's got good court vision. Oh, nice pass. As I say that, the pass to Hurley. And two more points for her. 44 to 40. Nice drive and dish by Rivera. Three-pointer by Burke. Nails it. And they'll say it's only two. Foot was on the line. Or just inside the free uh, the three point line. Here's Rivera. Burke out on Rivera. Oh, nice kickback. Chopper fakes. Look at that handle. They gotta get they gotta get the ball to Hurley. She's gotta get position. Going baseline, James, and they say she stepped out of bounds. Katerra James looking to drive baseline. Ran out of room there. Abby Hurley's going to get a wider base. She's going to make herself available. Make herself a bigger target. Stone, wide open for three. No good. Rebounded by Hurley. Keep that ball up there. Rivera looking to push. Defense isn't set up yet. James for three. Oh, boy, the place would have went nuts if that had went in. Wow. She's feeling it. She's feeling very confident right now, as she should. Stone with the basketball to a cutting Sanders going to the basket. And I believe it will be Abby Chopper. That's going to be her third if it is her. And I believe it is. 
46-40. Rebecca Sanders will go to the line for two. That one way too strong. It's been a good little post matchup, Rebecca Sanders and Abby Hurley. Second free throw, no good. Abby Stone beats Hurley to it in the corner. And we'll see who they call a foul on. I believe it's going to be on Bristol. We have a substitution. Rebecca Sanders looks like she might have twisted an ankle. She limps off the court. And coming into the game right now is going to be Number five, Nicole Capuceo. Second free throw was good. 47 to 40. 48 to 40, I'm sorry. Two minutes and 44 seconds to go. In the half. Rivera picks up a dribble. Chopper back to Rivera in the corner. And I believe it's going to be a foul. It looks like it might be on... Looks like it might be on Ashley Burke. Actually, it's going to be on Abby Stone. And both teams are in the bonus right now, so Atia Rivera will actually step to the line for two. <laughs> Rivera sinks the first one. Cuts this lead to within seven. Still 2.30 to go. And a half. Bristol fell behind by 11 here in the first half. And it's going to be a lane violation. They're going to call it on Bristol, so that basket will not count. Not sure who that was that went into the paint. A little prematurely. It's going to be a good night of basketball, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you stay tuned. Jumper no good. Rebound and a grab by Marshall. Boy, she's done a good job. Going all the way to the basket. Rivera throws it up there, and the prayer does not go in. Going all the way to the basket. Delgado out of control. Stone underneath, and she's going to draw the foul, and she's going to go to the line for two. Abby Stone. And that foul's going to be on Amaya Marshall, and that's going to be her fourth. So she's in serious foul trouble. And they can't afford to lose her. She'll step out of the game. Amaya Marshall does all the little things. A lot of the little things that don't necessarily show up on the stat sheet. And Abby Stone will drain the first free throw. Second free throw by Stone. Gives the pointers a nine-point lead with two minutes to play in the half. Katera James, she's put on a show here tonight. Seven, seven three-point bombs. James puts it up off the glass and in. And she does a little bit of that off the window. Kicking it back out. Ashley Burke for three, no good. Rebound by Chopper. Chopper up the right sideline, loses it out of bounds. And it's going to be knocked away by the pointers by uh, Julissa Delgado. India Co will inbound for Bristol. Again, both teams in the bonus. So both teams will be shooting free throws from here on out here in the first half. James going against Delgado, kicks it back up to Chopper. The fake going to the basket, loses it, puts it up, no good. James, floater, can't connect. Chopper kicks it back out and stolen away. Burke going back there is Marshall, and she'll miss. Burke will miss. And it'll be Bristol basketball.
And it looks like we have a foul there. It's going to be on. Foul's going to be on number 11, Victoria Vasquez. Amaya Marshall with a good looking free throw there. Second free throw, Marshall. A little short on that one. Delgado gets it to the paint. Goes over Chopper and lays it over and in. KJ going back the other way. James. And I believe it's going to be another foul. Katara James will go to the line for two. And Katara James hits the first free throw. What a first half she has had. Unbelievable. Almost 30 points this, this first half. And Katara James. Continues to impress. Second free throw is good. Bristol within six. A lot of basketball left to be played, too. Chopper kicks to the to the wing. Burke to Vasquez. No good. Way off the mark. Rivera looking to push. Has nobody with her, though. Draws the contact. And that's the right idea. Both teams in the penalty, and there's another foul. And a tier of error will step to the line for two. I believe they're going to call the foul on Jalissa Delgado. That's going to be her second. Rivera nails the free throw. A tier of error, averaging 12.3 a game. She's the third leading scorer on this Bristol team. Misses the second free throw. Ooh. I thought that might have been a carry right there. A three-pointer way off the mark. Rebounded by Stone in the paint. Puts it up with the left, and it's good. Count two for Stone. Bristol can hold for the final shot here at the half. Rivera. Guarded by Burke. Rivera, dribbling and bibbling. Rivera kicks back out. Katera takes for three. Nails it! What else would you expect? Holy cow! Katera takes with her eighth, count an eighth three-pointer to pull Bristol within four, 54 to 50. Holy smokes. Katera James is on fire. You just expect it to go in at this point. When will the pointers learn? to get up and on that. All right. What an entertaining first half, ladies and gentlemen. 54 to 50. Stay tuned for a second half action here on FRC Media, your Bayhawks Broadcasting Network. Stay with us. All right. Welcome in, everybody. Halftime is over, and we are get back, and we're underway here from the pressure cooker, the France Gymnasium, or the Bristol Bayhawks, the lady women, the, uh, the women Bayhawks are down four. Floated by Rivera. And just to keep you up to date, Katera James is on fire. She was on fire in the first half, 36 points in the first half, eight three-pointers. And I'm joined by Megan Holden. Thanks for joining us, Megan. Thank you for having me. Looks like I missed uh, quite a first half. Oh, you missed, you missed a heck of a show. I heard there was a couple of dunks. <laughs> a couple times. <laughs> I don't know what planet you're on. Oh, maybe, maybe I heard planet, that. Planet Zippy. But still, that's 30, sorry, 30. It might as well have been. It was a, it was a pretty great um, offensive performance by KJ, Katera James. Eight three-pointers. I mean, she's just on fire, looking um, looking a lot different than she did Last game. on Tuesday, where sometimes she's a little bit hesitant, you know, um, and was a little bit inconsistent from the outside. She did have a better second half uh, last game against Bunker Hill, but this game she looks assertive. She's been a, she's made a point to be aggressive here in the first half. She's attacking the basket, 
She's not hesitating from the outside. She's they're kicking, they're driving and, and dishing it back out to her, and she's just released shooting, shooting, releasing, and making. It sounds like uh, she's doing what we said she would need to do with Fortin being out. Yeah. Stepping up her. They need to make up that offensive production, like you said. And um, the Bayhawks, they trailed by as many as 11 in the first half. Oh, wow. And, um, and they are, they have pulled within four. 54 to 50 was the first half score, so a lot of offense. And, um, and a lot better, actually, um, Bristol playing a lot better defense, playing much more aggressive. They're not leaving. Um, Are they getting rebounds this game? They're getting, they're getting oh. offensive. They're getting offensive rebounds, defensive rebounds. Oh, wow. Proud Bayhawk right now. <laughs> but mostly in their zone. I mean, their rotations are on point. So they are. Um, they're getting to. They're getting to the shooters. They're not allowing easy um, outside shots. And it's interesting. It seem they're like being more aggressive and on on defense. They didn't look like they have much depth there on the bench. But look, interesting to see Chopper in there with the starting unit. Second game. Yeah, she was a starter, yeah, and she's looked a little bit more comfortable out there at the offensive end, but 36 points for Katera James, 6 points for Abby Hurley. Another and solid game from Hurley. Yes, ma'am. But it's been mostly Katera James yeah. has accounted for all the scoring for Bristol. I'm guessing was it that right layup? She, she, she likes to attack the basket. She's pretty good at attacking the basket. She is. Bristol looking to inbound underneath their own basket. India Coat. Coat, the chopper, puts it up and knocked away by Sanders. T take it away, stolen away by Rivera, who almost loses it back the other way. Rivera, nice bounce pass underneath, but chopper could not hold on to it. She just got tackled to the floor. She got a little football. Mix in with your basketball this game. <laughs> <laughs> Get it all here. Yeah, it's been a tough game. How the rest been? They let him play or? Not really. Not really? Rivera. Looks like she was knocked out of bounds, but they're going to say she stepped out of bounds, and it's oh, going wow. to be pointers basketball. Burke up ahead to Abby Stone. Sanders on the baseline. And they're going to call a blocking foul, and they're going to call it on Katera James. Looking at the uh, UConn's Boston here, it looks like they got a couple of scores too. Abby Stone with over 21 points. Then you have a couple, you got quite a few people, four people in uh, double digits for, for the UConn. Yeah, and they're pretty much up to par today. Abby Stone has 15. Looks like they got a little size, a little size on Bayhawks. Well, the big matchup right now is Rebecca Sanders and Abby Hurley. Mm. Abby Hurley out of the game right now. And Sanders misses the second free throw. Looks like uh, Chopper's uh, taking her place. Let's see, let's see the, um, let's see if the pointers, let's see if they have, if they make some second half adjustments, because they're leaving Katera James all alone in the perimeter. Atia Rivera has been able to penetrate, and when she penetrates, she's, back a, out? Yeah, she's attracting a lot of attention, and she's kicking it back out, and it's just like Groundhog Day every single time. Let's we'll see if they make adjustments. Sanders, nice little post move there. Can't get it to fall with the left. Rebounded by Coat. Nice job getting a rebound there. Rivera looking to push. Abby Chopper, long three, short. Abby Chopper needs to get she needs to get a little bit more rotation on that basketball. She's got a dead shot out there. Yeah. She, uh, yeah. she hit one along, I think a long two last game. James. But since then, she hasn't got enough air. And they're going to call an offensive. It's just like they're uh, living and dying by the three. Falling in love with the three for the Bayhawks today. Well, it worked for them in the first half because Katera James was living and not dying by the three if in the first half. Chopper with the rebound. If it's not broken, don't, don't try to fix it, I guess. And another turnover by Bristol. Well, true, <laughs> but you could have the right people taking the right shots. Yes, yes. I wonder if they're going to start double-teaming James. 
the second second half. Like I said, I thought that was going to be interesting. Rebecca Sanders, and I think she's got a little bit of a size advantage. Yeah, I think Definitely. she's got a little bit of an advantage over Abby Chopper. She wasn't able to do that per se against against Hurley. Kick back out, Coat. No good. But I'm happy Abby Chopper's playing on the inside. I didn't really get why she was playing on the uh, three-point line last game when she has a, when she has a lot of size. Okay, Nicole Cabioso going to get fouled on the shot there. She'll step to the line for two. Nice crowd oh. here today. Yes, Thursday night basketball. We have a doubleheader, another doubleheader here tonight. I know things uh, might have changed. Uh, it didn't look like they were going to have a doubleheader tonight. Yeah. Early in the week. I guess people want to be in a pressure cooker. <laughs> Make the drive. Yeah. 58 to 50. The first... First shot was an air ball. Second free throw was good. Rivera. Look at, oh, nice little nice. move there. Oh, oh, she missed the layup. No frosting. People are people are afraid of the kickback now. It opens the door for her. Just yeah. driving the lane. Yeah, Tia Rivera, she um, starts driving the lane there and fake the kickback, and they bought it. They bought it hook, line, and sinker. She just wasn't able to finish, but... Well, we saw this in the game, the first game back last week. If she's aggressive, it opens it up a lot for the offense. Stone from the wing, three-pointer, no good. Rebounded by Sanders, and she puts it up off the glass and in. Crossing over, Rivera. You can see that the pointers are making it a note to try to deny James. Rivera no. goes into the paint. Puts it up. Nice, nice job. Nice. nice job by Tia Rivera. She's going to have to be the one to step up. Seems like they're not giving her much room, but she's finding it with dribble moves. Three-pointer in the corner. Way off. Rebounded by Cabieso. Cabiseo. And it's going to be a travel. And it's going to be going back Bristol way. Look, they can't, they can't stop everything. So either they got to stop the drive from... Rivera, or they got to stop the James three, so. James driving to the basket, going up, and she's going to get fouled. Mm -hmm. And I think Katera James could do that every time. If, she, yes. if she's aggressive, puts the ball to the floor, and penetrates with the basket. She's kind of like they a. Don't, they don't have anyone that can stay with her. She can she can get to the basket and um, draw fouls and go to the free throw line, she's where she's very good. She's very strong for the basket. She kind of reminds me a little bit like, like how Freeman is with uh, the Bayhawks men's team. She's kind of like the Freeman of uh, – of the women's team for the basketball. <laughs> Always a comparison. She uh, she likes to go to the basket grassy, but she can also be a facil facilitator. But I think with James, I think with Katera James, I think she's more of like a, you know, more of a scorer, more yeah. of a stone cold killer kind of kind of scorer. Where Stanley Freeman is kind of more of a passer. Yeah, looking to looking to pass first. Honestly, how they go to the rim? Uh, both on kind of remind me of the knocked away. Time. James nice. up to Rivera. Rivera going up. Puts it up and in. Nice speed there. 60 to 56. Bristol playing with a lot more energy tonight. Stone in the paint. Puts it up and in. Abby Stone for two. Nike got a cut. Uh, was it Nike? He's a cut Rivera. Check how fast he's going in this shoes. Rivera going into Rebecca Sanders. And they're going to call a foul. Let's see who they call the foul on. Number 20. Yeah, they're going to call a second foul on Rebecca Sanders. 6.03 to play here in the third quarter. India Coat underneath to James. And James gets it stolen away by Delgado. Rebecca Sanders is a center, but she, she's been handling the ball a lot. Stone driving to the basket, puts it up with the left, and lays it in. And Abby Stone... Starting to go to work. A lot of people hitting the floor on this game. Yeah, a lot of energy, a lot of um, a lot of hustle, a lot of energy in this game here tonight. A lot of physicality, a lot of toughness. You have it all on display. Trying to end January right. 
trying to end January out with a bang. Yeah, right? Literally. Before we get into the uh, the major month of February, where teams are going to be jockeying for position in the postseason. <laughs> and we have a turnover here. 64-56. Well, they got a lot of – they got most of their games are away. I feel like so they got to take advantage of the – Bayhawks got to take advantage of the home games while they can. Try to win as much as they can. They only have one uh, – one home game after this. That's so. Yeah. Stone. Over for three for Burke. Gets the bounce. And the three-pointer is counted. It's good. Well, after and this game, they have three straight uh, three, stra three straight road games. Is it three straight road games? Three straight road games. All within, well, they've uh, been at, well, they've been at home for a few here in January, so all it all balances itself out. All within uh, and 10 another days. And another turnover, 67-56. Bristol in zone right now. They lob it in for Rebecca Sanders. Can't get it to fall. Rebounded by Burke at the free throw line. Hits the jumper. And just like that, the pointers are up by 13. Amaya Marshall puts it up. No good. And losing it out of bounds, and it's going to be Pointers basketball. Now, I have no idea what's wrong with Abby Hurley. Um, obviously, she's their inside presence. Um, she's done a good job on the boards. And she makes a difference out there, and she is on the bench. I'm not sure if there's an injury or what the case may be. Well, did anything happen in the first half? You see, notice something? Corner, Burke. No good. Rebounded by James. James looking to push. And they're going to call a foul on the floor. We'll see what they call it on. Seems like they didn't really start with that, with uh, James going to the basket as much as you guys were saying in the first quarter. Maybe, hopefully, they can get back to it. Oh, well, I think the point is making some adjustments here. and they're Not giving much space. They see how three people uh, on her. Well that, well, that, and they don't have Abby Hurley on the floor. When yeah. you have Abby Hurley on the floor. You have to respect the. Yeah, you have to respect the inside. Yeah. You know, Did you it's all in matters, and it's all in terms of spacing on the court. Second free throw is good, and they're going. They're going with a smaller lineup. Stone. Maybe they want more speed. Stone, jumper in the paint. I mean, she's just dominating now. There's no Abby Hurley down in the block. Chopper will come back in. Rivera crosses over, kicks it back out. Amaya Marshall, high arcing shot, no good. Mm -hmm. Air ball, short. I could tell that wasn't going in. Rivera. Oh, look at <laughs> nice little, mm -hmm. nice little fake dish there by Rivera driving to the basket. And Marshall's going to go to the line for two. Seems like uh, maybe they want more speed, but I don't think they're getting it. It seems like they're playing a little slow. I'm not sure what the problem is. I'm not sure if. Uh, She doesn't look uh, in pain on the bench. She's cheering for her team. No, I'm not sure what it is. You don't have the answer, Sway. <laughs> I don't have the answer. <laughs> Amaya Marshall sinks the free throw. You're just a jinx. You come in here and. I think maybe. You, you know what hits the fan. Both free throws hit by Marshall. Maybe it's my shoes. <laughs> it's all about the shoes. Burke for three. Can't get it to fall. They love it inside. Sanders, nice little post move, puts it up off the glass and in over Chopper. No, I think, I think kind of a jinx this year, though. Every team I rooted for. James kicks it back out. Chopper in the corner. It's good. Nice. Just needed to see that one go in. Every team I rooted for in the playoffs lost in the NFL. So maybe, maybe I start, should start rooting for the team I'm against. <laughs> Burt, cross-court pass. Three-pointer by Vasquez is no good. Tipped. And let's see who it goes off. I believe it's going to be off Chopper. Thus, it's off Bristol. It's going to be pointers basketball with three minutes and 27, 27 seconds to go in the third. Sanders. Here's the whistle, and they're going to call it travel. And now Abby Hurley's going in. I'm not sure where she's been this whole quarter. The fact that she hasn't been in the, in the game is... It's just unbelievable to me. Maybe it's uh, complete negligence. Yeah. Let's see if it makes a difference here. 
I'm not sure what the, I'm not sure what the story was or if it was disciplinary, but Rivera goes to the goes into the lane and lays it up with the left. Nice burst, recognized the opening. So Abby Hurley makes her first appearance here in the second half. Let's see if she can make a difference here. Stone catches the cross court pass, three pointer is no good. Rebounded by Katera James. James into the lane, puts up a puts up a shot. Abby Hurley right there with the offensive. Put back attempt, no good. Going back the other way, Helter Skelter. And Even though Hurley missed that shot, I liked what I saw back to back. She didn't do that last game. Box out to help the her team get the rebound, and then she got the rebound on, off on offensive rebound on the other side. Well, with her and Abby Chopper out there, and then they, you know, they have some, uh, they have some height out there, and they have an inside, inside defensive presence, especially Abby Hurley. Three-pointer by Vasquez, way off. Rebounded by Chopper. But like you were saying in her early game, she looks like she was doing some things offensively, too. She was a, a second team. Rivera kicks it back up to Marshall. Score. Oh, nice, nice pass there by nice. Chopper to get it to Hurley. Nice job. That's what I'm talking about, yeah. see? Nice job by Chopper keeping her eyes open. A little drive and dish. Nice Stolen away by, by Marshall. Taken away by Marshall. Nice pass there by James. James has the clear lane, lays it up and in. See, Abby Hurley comes into the game, and all of a sudden, maybe I'm not the jinx. Maybe, maybe I'm not the jinx. Maybe it's just Hurley's luck. Stone, no, it's just a poor, poor decision not to have her out there from the from yeah. the get go. Again, we don't know all the facts or the uh, the reasoning behind it, but a tear of error around the back puts them nice. up the floater, and it's good. Counts the shot. That was a highlight play. That's the wow. Atia Rivera nice. showing the skill, putting it around the back, floating it out the glass, off the window for the kiss. You know, I could do that if you give me like 100 tries. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that. <laughs> that was, I'm, not that giving was you, I'm not giving you 100 tries, though. No. 74-69. And just like that, Bristol regaining a little bit of momentum, regaining a little bit more energy. I was going to compliment James' composure going to the basket in the last five breaks, how she didn't rush the layup. But I also like the Rivera's composer there. Didn't rush the shot towards the end. Yeah, she seems a little bit more patient. Three-pointer by Burke. Can't get it to fall. Tipped up. Rebounded by Hurley. And there it is. There's that inside toughness. There's the rebounding that they need. Rivera Another going in. Break. Nice little move. And Ooh. again, again, a Tia Rivera penetrating. Getting to the hoop. And then always looking to kick back to Katera James. And, and the pointers, they're worried about that right now. They're, just getting, they're getting, uh, to the getting, getting to the offense more fast right now. They're getting to the offense side more quickly than they were before Hurley came in. So I wonder if it's Rivera, less worried about the rebound. Rivera, the floater. Can't get it to fall. Rebounded by Sanders. Stone in the open court. Going to the basket. No one's going to uh -huh. stop her. Too much size, too much length going to the going to the rim. They made made that a little too easy for her. Way too easy. 75-69. Rivera gets it inside to Abby Hurley. Hurley going up against Sanders. Uses the glass oh, nice. up and in. Abby Hurley for two. Nice. What a difference she's made since she's been in the game. Three pointer in the corner by Burke and she drains it. Just going to be a matter of time before she drains it from the outside. Ashley Burke for three. Ashley Burke averaging 12.4 a game for the pointers. Going to the basket is Rivera. And I believe they're going to call a foul, but I think it's going to be on the floor, maybe on the shot. It's going to be on the shot. She's going to go to the line for two. Actually, actually the pointers, the guest team, they're in the, they're in the bonus. So the uh, Bayhawks will be... We'll be shooting free throws from here on out in the third quarter. We have a substitution on the court for the pointers. Nicole Cabuseo, number five, is in the game. See, so yeah, I would take advantage of this. Keep going inside. Yeah. Every play. Stack the basket. They're calling it this Regar game. I mean, yeah, regardless. Yeah. And Rivera makes it a five-point lead, 77-72. The pointers in this third quarter – Actually extended the lead up to up 
until about 13, 13 points they had the lead. And then Abby Hurley, since Abby Hurley has come back into the game, they've cut this lead to within four. It looks like she's about to check out the game right now. So we'll see maybe how this she's, Maybe she's nursing some kind of injury. Maybe, maybe just tired. Maybe we're trying to keep her fresh, but. See how this affects the game right now. It is the end of the quarter, so this is a good time for her to get a rest. You'll yeah. probably see her in the fourth quarter. And Stone hits a little 14-footer little there, 79-73. Took advantage of that size myself. Oh, Rivera, nice little stop uh, and go. Puts oh. it above the glass. Oh, can't get the roll. Sanders is going to get the rebound. Let's see if the pointers get a shot off. Nope. Stone wouldn't have counted anyways. All right, so Bristol will make a run there at the end of the first half, trailing by as many as 13. They've cut it to within six. We're going to take a break here. We'll be back with fourth quarter action, 79-73. Pointers have the lead. We'll be right back on FRC Media, your Bayhawks broadcasting network. I always knew I wanted to go to college. I just didn't know how or when. Bristol gave me the flexibility to balance work, family life, and the things I love to do. I was able to transfer and get a bachelor's degree in the field I am passionate about. Bristol helped me so I can help others. Working as a mentor and a coach, I know I'm making a difference. And I'm able to show my kids and others the value of a college education. It's never too late. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. All right, welcome back. We're getting ready for the start of the fourth quarter. Bayhawks trail by only five. And inbounding for the pointers, Abby Stone. Bristol set up in 2-3 zone. David Cardoza and Megan Holden on the call. They dump it into Sanders. Good job by Bristol to collapse on her. And coming away with it after the miss, they swing it around the perimeter. Jumper inside the, inside the three-point line is no good. Rebounded by Stone. Hurley going to do a better job boxing out. Abby Hurley back in the game. They swing it into the corner. Going up, Cabioso, Cabiseo. Like I don't know her name. I don't know what her name is. Looks like your prediction <laughs> was right. Hurley came back in the game in the fourth quarter. Well, yeah, I think they were just trying to get to a rest with the final 30 seconds there or whatever it was. And now she starts the fourth quarter nice and fresh. So that was a good time to get her some rest. Where they can use her to get the, to take try to take on this lead, only uh, five points. Yeah, they're within striking distance. Yeah. Let's see if they uh, try to get back into a three point, three point game. I think I still say go to the basket. Yeah. Don't go away from what you were doing in the first half. James, going up. Can't get it to fall. Had the right idea though, driving to the basket, being aggressive. Losing it out of bounds, almost goes into the hands of the Bayhawks. Rivera crossing over. Rivera. I think she might have had a block there by Stone. Yeah. Stone going coast to coast. God, no, somebody get in front of her. Goodness gracious. No defense there. No, no urgency to get back. Yeah, Abby Stone. Well, once Abby Stone gets the ball in transition and gets it to the paint, yeah. I mean, you gotta watch. It's you academic. Watch. Yeah. Rivera gets it inside. Sanders got to go up a little bit stronger than that. I know they're trying to set the pick with uh, Chopper. It's not really working out for them. Going back the other way. 
And in. Chopper got to play better defense. She's just standing under the rim right now. Yeah, the, I don't know. I don't know what, what happened to the toughness on defense. And Coach Jay Hanley is going to call a timeout. And it's much needed as the, uh, the pointers kick that lead back up to nine with 8.19 to play. And we'll take a small break here. Coach Jay Hanley has called a timeout for the Bayhawks. And uh, we'll take a break, and we'll be right back after this. I always knew I wanted to go to college. I just didn't know how or when. Bristol gave me the flexibility to balance work, family life, and the things I love to do. I was able to transfer and get a bachelor's degree in the field I am passionate about. Bristol helped me so I can help others. Working as a mentor and a coach, I know I'm making a difference. And I'm able to show my kids and others the value of a college education. It's never too late. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. All right, welcome back to LaFrance Gymnasium. Home of your Bristol Bayhawks. Bayhawks basketball here on Thursday night. Definitely. January 30th. A little chilly outside, but things are heating up inside. I can definitely feel the pressure cooker right now. <laughs> I think I might be getting a little tan. Oh, Lord. <laughs> That's here, Rivera with the basketball. Rivera. Oh. Chopper. And they're going to call her. They get her for a double dribble or a travel? She's playing a little sluggish right now. I wonder if uh, she just ran out of energy. A couple of mistakes not getting on a, de on a defensive side. and Yeah, Bristol not playing as sound as they did in the first half. Making a couple casual mistakes here. Well, they can't afford it now. You can't let this game slip uh, to a big lead in the fourth quarter. Yeah, Bristol's going to turn up the defense. Three-pointer by Burke. She gets the foul, makes the three-pointer, and has a chance for a four-point play. And the pointer's... The bench rises up. That's the last thing they needed. That's a and and here we are again, Megan, where Bristol keeps trying to climb back into the game. And it's just little things. Little things change momentum. Yeah, and then every time every time they get within within four or five points, as Burke misses the free throw, but Sanders out hustles Hurley. Hurley has to be quicker with rebound. Three pointer. Rebounded by Sanders, no good. Rebounded by James. Nice uh, job to Hurley make up the lost rebound instead of the shot. This has to be James. Oh, James trying to go right into the teeth of the defense. They're calling it out of bounds by uh, Yeah, no, Sanders, Sanders knocked it out of bounds. Yeah. See who else? Uh, Sony else needs to step up this game besides James. Yeah, that's the thing. Who else is going to step up? Abby Chopper gets it to Hurley. Hurley there, puts it up and in. Nice good job for, yeah, good, good find by Chopper, and Hurley picks it up off the floor, puts it up off the glass. Stone into the paint. Hurley got to do more than just put her hands up on a basket. You got to get in front of the player there. I was thinking Abby Hurley might be in foul trouble too, but I don't think that's the case. No. And they're going to call steps. And another turnover by the Bayhawks, and they're letting this one slowly but surely slip away. Down 12 now. Katera James has cooled off considerably here in the second half. I mean, she had 36 in the first half, eight three-pointers. She hasn't made one three-pointer in the second half. No, it's Sanders kicks it out to Delgado, who misses the shot. And it's going to be Bayhawks basketball. It seems like James being less aggressive, too. I think it's just, I'm wondering if it's just... I'm not giving her uh, enough space. Well, they're or? not giving her the space. Yeah, and the, no. They're definitely not giving her the space from the three-point line. They're not going to let her beat her like that, beat them like that like they did before. Oh, oh nice, nice around-the-back pass oh, there. Okay. Hurley but, wasn't expecting but that. But Hurley just, just goes out of Hurley's reach, and she wasn't expecting it mm -hmm. and lost it out of bounds. And we have a timeout on the floor. 6.54 to go. Yeah. Bayhawks down by 12. Rivera's making a couple highlight plays with that behind the back move she has. And she did it a lot in the first half. Mm -hmm. I think that's why they're... Keep going to it. Yeah, well, that's why the um, the pointers are more cognizant of it now because they're expecting her to kick it back. That's why they're guarding Katera James in the three-point line. And... Um, well, she got, she got a couple good dribble moves. See if she pulls anything else out. Well, that's why she's been able to get to the basket yeah. because they're expecting... They're ex 
you know, she goes, she has that little fake where she fakes the behind the back and then she goes to the basket. And um, they're respecting that. And then her speed. You have to respect her speed. Yeah, her speed is allowing her to get to the basket. But they're, you know, she's um, she's drawing defenders. But also they're afraid of they're afraid of the kickback too. So she's able to get to the basket. Stone driving, kicking it back out. From the top of the key, the jumper by Sanders is no good. Rebounded by KJ. KJ crossing over. Gets it inside to Hurley. Hurley up off the glass. Oh, rolls out. James is there. And they're going to call a jump. And it should be Bayhawks basketball. It will be. You know what I noticed? I noticed when they don't let the def uh, when UConn's defense set, uh, set, they just go straight to the basket. They have the success. When they, start, when they stop at the three-point line and stop passing, Seems like they're undecisive. Yeah, they need to. Um, they need to not. Their half-court offense is stagnant when they let the other team set set up on defense. Exactly. Chopper three-pointer, high arc, and it's good. Nice. Boy, to the Bayhawks need that one. Chopper, that's her second uh, three-pointer of the game, actually. Going into the lane, yeah, they're letting this. They're letting them get into the lane too easy. This point of hands up's not enough. Three-pointer, and the easy lay-in by Sanders. Off the miss, 90 to 78. If you're the Bayhawks, you need stops. Six minutes to play. They get it inside. Chopper, turn around. In the paint. I'm not sure Way if, off the mark. I'm not sure if inside Chopper's game. Delgado had Burke. Delgado. Oh, night. Nice. Misses it. Delgado going into the paint. Bristol's going to clog the middle. What are they? They get. UConn's letting them, giving it to them, but Bristol doesn't want to take it until now. Here's Rivera. Rivera inside the coat. Uh, coat can't call. get it to fall. James, with the putback attempt, can't get it to fall. And, and I believe we have a timeout on the court. And nice to see that Chopper has the, has the capability of uh, shoot out in three, she just has to be more consistent with it. It's either it's, it's going in or it's, or it's air. Just got to keep shooting. Yeah. You know, she could, she could make that shot, but that's probably not, you know, if, the, if, that, if that shot's wide open, she can take yeah. that shot. It's not the go-to, but maybe a second, third, third option. Yeah, but she definitely has the ability to make it, yeah. but it's not always the most high percentage shot. No. So um, right now they need Katera James to, I don't know, she needs to get on a flurry like she did in the first half. Hopefully she's not a lot of shots. Mm -hmm. Because they need those shots right now. We have to say because UConn's up by 12, so. Yeah, and the way that Katera James was on fire in the first half, you know, a couple three pointers, they're down six. Well, you know. Yeah, Bayhawks gotta expect this though. They gotta expect that they're gonna make some adjustments to defend James better. They need a second option here. Rivera is pretty good going to the basket, but I want to see her do that more consistently. Yeah, and, and definitely, and she's not, you know, she can, she definitely can get to the basket. She, she did a good job in the first half, driving and dishing, kicking back out, and also finding Abby Hurley and finding cutters going to the basket. She's very good at that and uh, very good at driving and creating for others. And um, But also at a size advantage, too. Mm -hmm. So you need someone else to step up and score. And then there it is. I'm Delgado I wonder off if, the miss. I wonder if Hurley's going to come back in this game or if she's resting for the rest of the night because they could definitely use her size. And Katera James just cold from the outside now. Eight three-pointers all in the first half. Here comes Abby Stone. Stone going back the other way, going all the way, and gets pushed. And let's hope that she didn't get hurt there. It looks like she's uh, I'm she, not sure what she's favoring. She got bumped out of bounds. I think it's the, yeah, the right arm, the right arm. Yeah, I'm not sure if she hurt her shoulder or if she hit her funny bone. But she's going to go to the line for two. It looks like she's... Well, she's not laughing, so I think it's the shoulder. <laughs> well, we know the funny <laughs> bone isn't funny. I want to say it was... Well, um, it seems like she was kind of going a little too aggressive to the basket and it's made she lean in too much. No, you can never... She wasn't going to the, too aggressive to the mm -hmm. basket. She got. You think she got pushed a little bit? She got pushed. That's why she's going to the line. Yeah. She got hacked. Uh, maybe maybe I'm a, <laughs> I'm a homer. They're going too aggressive. 92 to 78. 
And it's so crazy because Bristol was hanging right in there. They were down by four at the half. And now Abby Hurley is going to look to check back in. 93-78. And now it's a 15-point lead with a little under five minutes to play here. Well, Bayhawks got to move quickly. In the game. They want to score. They got to score fast. Just keep running to the basket. And then you got you to gotta test more towards the – So you're telling me – so you're telling me they're going to replace Katera James with LeBron James? Maybe, yeah. I mean, you never know who's <laughs> coming out that locker room. Is that what's coming <laughs> Yeah. want to say was uh, – Well, he might have some college eligibility. Yeah. Hey. Can you go backwards? If you never played in college, could you go from pros and go play, play in college? Why not? You can Look that up. That's your homework. Okay. Okay, yeah. I got you. Yeah. I would say if you haven't gone to college, why? If you why? never went to college yeah. and you never played college basketball, but you go to the you go and you play in the pros, mm -hmm. and then you decide you don't want to go pro, you but don't want to be pro, and you want to go to college. But he's not going to get paid. Can you go backwards? He's not going to get paid, so why not do that? He's not? already paid. I know, but I'm just saying. I, you think he'll go to Duke? <laughs> it seems like everyone goes no, to Duke. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but I'm saying could could somebody do that? Could someone do that in general? If you had college eligibility left. I don't see why not. I mean, if you, I just if you go into college and you want to play basketball, who's anyone yep. to say to to stop you? You know. Imagine retired. How many points do you think that LeBron James could score in a junior college basketball game? Could he score? Could he score every time down the court? I think he will beat Will could Chamberlain's 100 point record. <laughs> He'd that, probably score 200. Yeah, I would say that's the only way that record is gonna get beaten. It seems like. I know okay. I, uh, and that's our segment of inane banter with uh, Cardoza and Holden. 440 to go, 94-78. Some miscommunication going on here. Not sure. It seems like we have one of these uh, every game. Yes. Marshall looking inbound. In the corner. Chopper. The jumper is no good. Rebounded by Rivera. Nice. By Rivera. Rivera long rebound. Oh, she missed Amanda under the basket. Get inside. Oh, good job by number 25 to front her. Delgado with the bounce pass to Sanders. No good. Nice job. Uh, Chopper and Sanders. Nice job by Rivera. Again. Fighting for it. Even though she doesn't have the side, Rivera still got a hand in there and disturbed the shot. Oh, she's a feisty one. She's, she'll get in there and mix it up. No lack of heart there from that player. No. Talking about, uh, well, I'll get to it next next play. Let the plays out. They'll swing it. Sanders on the perimeter now with Stone. Stone going to the basket over Hurley. And see, Hurley just Hurley's presence is uh, clogging up the middle. That's what they. They can't get the shot up. Yeah. Chopper going up against Sanders and draws the foul, and Abby Chopper will go to the line for two. Nice uh, recognition by uh, Chopper, realizing the defense was all over her to get her to steal a shot. Yeah. So here's what I don't understand. I'm not sure what the what the Hurley situation is here because when she, when she went out of the game, they went down by 13, and they never they they made a run again when she came back in, but they really haven't been able to recover. So I'm not sure what the whole story is. She sat out the first seven or eight minutes of the third quarter, and she came back in. Well, she seems like I, I agree with you because she was a second leading scorer during the second half, and she brings a defensive presence. So other than injuries or something that happened, I don't see why the de the coach will take her out the game. Yeah. I'm not. It has to be something we don't know. It'd be interesting to see if uh, see if the Bayhawks start taking the beef again. Well, they're just not getting the open looks. No. They're not getting the open looks from three-point land like they were. And Katera James, you know, she had double figure attempts from the three-point uh, from three-point range in the first half. She's not even getting the attempts. They're getting inside to Abby Hurley and wow. Sanders. Who looked like she ripped it away, but they're going to call a foul on her. You know what I like to do? Well, doing this game that she didn't do last game? She's getting it off the glass. She's bouncing off the glass instead of just throwing it up. Yes. Using that backboard. It's there. Just get to take it. your Get to take your time. Yeah. You get that offensive rebound. You got to keep that. You got to keep that ball over your head. Well, so smaller players can't get it, and you just got to 
you're going to use the angle and put it up off the glass. Well, if you remember last game, they were rushing everything, and they could miss layups yeah. all over. And that's what kept them, out the, kept them out the game. Abby Hurley will step to the line for two. 94-78. Hurley misses the first free throw. I'm not sure if... Uh, if you had a Bayhawks, you, Hurley's the one you want at the free throw line. She's doing a little bit under 50%, 46. Oh, and there you go. And she'll she'll go out of the, she'll go out of the game now. India Coat will come in. See, I'm not understanding why I take her out on the when it's about when you're about to play defense. If you want to take her out, take her out. Driving to the basket, Delgado kicks it back up to Sanders. Moving it around the perimeter. Stone, spinning, going to the basket. And she's going to get fouled prior to the shot, I believe. Foul's going to be on Katera James. 94-79 is the score here from LaFrance Gymnasium. 337 to play. Yeah, I feel like. If Bristol's going to make a charge, they need, they need to do it now. And they need to stop here. Stone being swarmed. Sanders kicks it to the corner. Three-pointer by Delgado. Gets the bounce. You hit one earlier. You don't want to leave her open for three. Good night, Irene. Who's Irene? <laughs> I don't know, but good night. <laughs> good night to her. Abby Chopper. Thought about a it. A little up fake. Puts it up off the glass. Can't get it to fall. Rebounded by Delgado. Delgado <laughs> in the open court. Loses it off her foot. And it'll go back to being Bayhawks basketball, but Bayhawks down 18, and you can see the hope leave them. You have, some of them head, some of their heads are down. You you can sense the loss of urgency in this game. Well, now you're down 18 with three minutes to play, yeah. so now it's like you know, Bristol, three minutes away from being 0 for 20, 0 for 2020, going up, and James. Nice play by James there. Get over. Two defenders. Yeah, James for two, and she needed to be doing more of that in the second half. A little too late. Yeah, tough second half for the Bayhawks. Cutting to the basket, Stone. Got stoned. Yeah, what a collision there. Rivera going back the other way. Rivera, nice little hesitation I move. Say I like the hesitation. Rebounded by Hurley with the putback score. So you just see that there's a bunch of moves she could use. Rivera. Going up into the paint. Oh, nice play for Hurley. Stone away. James going up against Stone and scores two more. Within 12. Got to get a steal. Got to get a stop. So you got some more Marshall more. trying to take away the <laughs> sideline there. And they're going to call a foul. I was just about to say, it looks like they're playing a little bit more earnestly after a couple good, couple good, couple good drives. But yeah, they, they need some. Yeah, they need need to get some full court pressure. Try to try to force the um, the pointers into some turnovers. And we're gonna time it on the floor. Well, it seems like Stone just has all the time in the world to make her decision if she's gonna go inside or they're gonna go side to side. Well, Stone, she's a stud. Average of 21 points a game. We're gonna take a small break here, and we'll be right back here on FRC Media. We'll be right back. I always knew I wanted to go to college. I just didn't know how or when. Bristol gave me the flexibility to balance work, family life, and the things I love to do. I was able to transfer and get a bachelor's degree in the field I am passionate about. Bristol helped me so I can help others. Working as a mentor and a coach, I know I'm making a difference. And I'm able to show my kids and others the value of a college education. It's never too late. Your dreams are within reach at Bristol Community College. Welcome back, everybody. Fall River, Massachusetts. Thursday night, Bayhawks basketball in action. Thank you all for joining us. 
on our Facebook athletics page. Oh, wow. They just Going up. Oh, nice little drive and dish. And Sanders, that's probably going to do it. UConn just came out with guns blazing, and Bayhawks wasn't ready for it. Chopper going baseline. Kicks it to Coat. And she's going to draw the, she's going to get the foul. She got fouled on the shot there. She'll go, she'll go to the line for two. Drop the house pretty it's good. It's funny you keep saying UConn. Let's not, let's not, uh, you know, let's not, let's not put the wool over everybody's <laughs> eyes. You cap. You cap. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just got to go to class. UConn so. at Avery Point. Oh, yes. I was going to say that. It looks like uh, Avery has, uh, Avery Chapa has pretty good uh, court vision. Yeah. She's a heady player. And um, I like the way she used that up fake. That's going to work to her advantage. You know, she um, has a little up, little, good little up fake on the perimeter, and she's able to, um, you know, what is only she's able to get by defenders when she uses that up fake. Well, this is only a second, third game, so she's definitely going to develop those skills and just get better. Oh, yeah, she's only played a couple games here for the Bayhawks, so as more she gets acclimated and gets adjusted and gets into the flow of the offense, especially, Promising you know, signs. she'll she'll, uh, build, she'll build in a good little role. Mm -hmm. You know, for herself, are, like you said, already in the starting lineup today in her second game that we've seen. Yes. And um, and she's done some good things on the floor for sure for the Bayhawks. She showed. I mean, she showed some range. You know, she's got some height. Gets in there, gets some rebounds. You know who had a little. And bit she's looking more confident. I mean, she's looking more confident, like she belongs out there. So. Yes. Yes. Definitely uh, more used to the game. Game speed. James going up. Uh, and call and they, yeah, they're going to call an offensive foul. They're going to call it on James, probably with a push. What, what is the call? Uh, I know they're going to they call a foul away from the basketball. I believe it's going to be on uh, Victoria Vasquez. I feel like these refs don't want this game to end. Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, I don't Mid, go ahead. Minute 19 to go. Bristol trailing by 15, so this one is pretty much in the books. And how do you feel about refs? Obviously not at this level, but they got replaying professionally. How do you feel about refs getting fined for missed calls or fined? Missing, yeah, like NFL fined players. Fined for what? Like so, NFL players get fined if they make if you know they make a mistake or say something in the media. NBA players. How do you feel no, about I think refs it's, getting? It's all you know. It's all human error. You can't get fined. But we have replay. the game is moving at such a you know. Sometimes the game is moving at such a silly speed. Going back the other way and driving to the basket is Delgado. Understandable, but we have replay now, and I feel like some. Uh, yeah, but you can't go to re you can't replay. You can only replay what can be replayed. But it seems like the, the other team has to challenge it. Not everything is replayed, so you can't just go to everything for a replay. As Hurley puts it above the glass and in. I'm not talking about obvious calls. I'm not saying something that to be debated, but obvious calls. I mean, I think people just make mistakes. That's fair. Marshall gets knocked to the ground. 102.87. So he's so he been a uh, good second half, at least. He's been kind of quiet. I'm surprised. Who are we talking about? Marshall. I didn't really feel too much of an impact this game. Yeah, second I mean, she was, she was in foul trouble. She fouled out right there, so she's kind of been in and out sporadically. So, you know, when you, when you are in foul trouble and you're in danger of fouling out, sometimes you're not going to be as – as aggressive on either end. So, I mean, that could play a part in it. And um, she falls out of the game. So she was probably aggressive early and it, and it backfired. Yeah, she had a few fouls early. I mean, she did a few good things out there on the court today. You know, but um, definitely got in foul trouble early and sometimes that can hamper you, you know. Stone, first free throw, no good. But Abby Stone stepped up. She definitely stepped up here in the second half, showing why she's a top scorer in Region 21. I was about to say. I mean, she really took it to the – she really took it to Bristol in the second half. I mean, she was taken into the paint, and Bristol just had no answer. And with, without Abby Hurley there in the early going in the third quarter, I think that was a difference maker. Chopper, the three-pointer. Oh, nice. She has that high-arcing rainbow shot. And it finds the bottom of the ocean. 
And if she can keep shooting like that, I think Bristol will have another uh, weapon. She's, it's all about consistency. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna, she's going to get it more the more time she plays. Yeah, just the more she keeps um, believing in herself and taking that shot, seeing that shot fall, obviously she knows she can make it if she keeps taking it from out there. And that's her third three of the game. Mm -hmm. And we've seen her shoot it in the previous game, too. So that's obviously a mm -hmm. shot that she can make. She has the range. Yeah. Three point. The more shooters you have, mm -hmm. I mean, other teams, they, I mean, they have to res they have to respect the perimeter. Do you think she'll be in a three-point contest for the NC? <laughs> You're the most outrageous <laughs> woman I've ever met in my life. <laughs> they can have a three-point contest. Why not have an all-star game or a three-point contest for college, for college basketball? Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, sure. She could throw her name in the hat. That'd be interesting. I think they should do that for college basketball. All -star I mean, I think they, they do on different on different levels. Right. Yeah. I probably just don't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> 103 to 90, 33 seconds to play. Bristol trying to steal the inbound pass here. Stone, they get it into her. And um, I think that's it. I think UConn, UCAP, going to run this clock out, get inside to Sanders. Yeah, you got to correct yourself there. Hurley does a good job, you know, putting her hands up there and forcing the um, offensive player to go over. And that's, that's what I like to see from her. She gotta take advantage. She, she, she gotta take advantage of this size matchup. 103 to 90. A lot of fouls called towards the end of the game. Only eight, a little over eight seconds left, eight and a half. Let's see if they can well, get the Well, Bristol fighting right to the end. See if they can get the 13 point shot. <laughs> All right, James. Forces that one up, and that's something I mean. It seems like she's been hit or miss. Yeah, it seems like um, towards the end of the towards the end of this game in the second half, it seemed like the shots that she was taking was forced, and obviously she wasn't able to get the open looks like you know like she was like in the first half. Yes. You know, so uh, Bristol with a loss here today, they'll fall to the University of Connecticut at Avery Point, 103 to 90, high scoring game, a lot of points. Our Bayhawks player of the game is going to be Katara James. She had 36 points in the first half. I mean, that should tell you more than what you need to know. Eight three-pointers in the first half, over 40 points for the game, um, almost a 50-point performance. So she, you know, Katara James, Even though she was KJ, in, is going to be our Bayhawks player of the game. Even though she was in and out, I mean, first half like that, you got to give it to her. That's the third time in a row I think she won that. Oh, yeah. It's, it's I mean, it's obvious. She put on a heck of a performance. I mean, she was nailing everything. The Bay. The Bayhawks men were in the crowd earlier, and they just, you know, they were loving it. So, anyway, so our final score from LaFrance Gymnasium, 103 to 90. Don't go away. We have the boy, we have the men's Bayhawks basketball team coming up at about 8 o'clock, taking on University of Connecticut at Avery Point. Okay, so for David Cardoza and Megan Holden, stay tuned for more Bayhawks basketball tonight in just a little bit. 8 o'clock tip coming up.